Hello everybody, this is Dustin Campbell with Campbell Enterprises Instructional Videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to repair splits in wood with our product Wood Fill Epoxy. What you're going to need to do the repair properly is a tube of Wood Fill Epoxy that matches the color of the wood, a putty knife for pressing the epoxy into the wood, some paper towels for cleanup, a knife for cutting the epoxy away from the stick, and a pair of rubber gloves for mixing the epoxy together. For my project, I'm going to be making a table out of this live edge piece of walnut. It's a beautiful piece of walnut, but if you can see, there's a couple deformities in the piece of wood, such as these large cracks. Wood fill epoxy is an awesome product to fill in these cracks and have it actually match to the color of wood. Once I prepare the project for the wood fill epoxy, the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wood fill epoxy from the tube. Once the stick is removed from the tube, I'm going to cut off the desired amount making sure the cut is perpendicular to the length of the tube. Once you have cut the proper amount that you're going to use, put on rubber gloves. Once you have the rubber gloves on, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the silver plastic dot from the end of the wood fill epoxy and save it for later. You're also going to remove the plastic from the outside of the wood fill epoxy. Wood fill epoxy is a two-part epoxy and as you can see there's the hardener on the inside and the resin on the outside. You're going to begin mixing the two together until it's one uniform color. Once the epoxy is one uniform color you can begin rolling it and pressing it in to the split areas. Once I've pressed the wood fill epoxy into the crack, I'll take a paper towel and clean off the putty knife and then scrape the remaining wood fill epoxy out of the crack. You can tell the wood fill epoxy is beginning to harden once it starts getting warm. Each wood fill epoxy has a little bit different of a curing time and you can find all those times on americantechnologyinc.com. But once the wood fill epoxy is cured, you can begin sanding it. I finished this project with a few coats of Danish oil. Wood fill epoxy can be sanded, it can be painted, and it can also be stained. Thank you so much for watching our video today on how to repair splits in wood with wood fill epoxy. To purchase wood fill epoxy, please log on to our website at www.americantechnologyinc.com. Thank you so much.